Good morning, I'm Deborah and I'm from the Parish of Rayleigh and I'm so pleased that you've been able to join me for today's morning prayer on Monday the 17th of June. So let's just still our hearts and minds. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. going to see what we actually believe in. I believe in Jesus. I believe he is the Son of God. I believe he died and rose again. I believe he paid for us all. And I believe he is here now, standing in our midst, here with the power to heal now, and the grace to forgive. I believe in you, Lord. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died and rose again. I believe you paid for us all. And I believe you are here now, standing in our midst, here with the power to heal now and the grace to forgive. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Today's appointed psalm is Psalm 71. O God, be not far from me. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let, never let me be put to shame. And in your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send me out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you have I leaned from my birth when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. So do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long. For I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. 
I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O oh God, when I'm old and grey-haired, till I make known your deeds to the next generation and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the heavens, and in the great things you have done, who is like you? O oh God, what troubles and adversaries, adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. Therefore will I praise you upon the harp for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. O God, be not far from me, faithful Lord, living Saviour, in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave, May we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation to the glory of God the Father. So glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Today's Old Testament reading is Judges chapter 8, starting at verse 2. 22 to the end but I'm going to continue now with the New Testament reading which is taken from Luke's Gospel it's chapter 15 verses 1 to 10. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to him and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying this fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them so he told him this parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbours, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbours, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You've set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. And in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let us now pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are a God, the God that searches out the one that is lost and brings them back into your loving arms. Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you for those you have placed along my path, some who encourage me and those I can encourage. Thank you for your worldwide church, of which we are a small part. Make us one, join us together to declare Jesus our Saviour in his death and resurrection. Keep us alert so we might be ready for your return. Father, we bring before you this broken, corrupt and selfish world in which we live. We know that Jesus is the answer, but while we are worshipping false idols and putting ourselves first, it will be so hard for things to change. We pray that you will intervene, bring us to our needs, knees, that we will pray for our world leaders, for all the elections that are taking place, for the integrity of all leaders, that they would speak the truth and put the people who they serve first. We pray too for those who are without food, without a home to call their own, for those displaced by war. Show us how to make a change and improve their lives. We pray for the peacemakers, for those involved in trying to create ceasefires and for all those who mourn their loved ones who have died in battle. Give them comfort and peace. And lastly, we pray for our day ahead. Go before us by your Holy Spirit. Keep us close to you so we may hear your prompting. So use our hands, feet and mouthpiece to be as Christ to those we meet today. These things we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our collect for today. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So as our Saviour has taught us, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And as we conclude, the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for joining me today. 
and may God go with you. God bless.